This story starts with a young boy who met a girl. He saw this girl from afar and was love at first sight. Maybe not so much for her, but it was for him. And uh, later on, the young boy, he, he wore this girl down and they decided to get married. Now this boy, he had nothing to offer this girl other than his chiseled good looks, devilish smile, and he had great hair. But the, the girl had everything. She had beauty, she was kind, she was very smart, loving. She had a great family, good friends, and uh, she was getting ready to embark on a career in nursing. But yet she gave all that up to marry this young boy. She sacrificed everything and she asked for nothing in return. So a few years went by and this, this, this young couple thought they'd start a family. And a few more years went by and no family came and it was, it was starting to see that uh, maybe it wasn't gonna happen. And in fact, they were told that, that you probably weren't, couldn't happen. This went on for quite a while. And, they, and the couple prayed, asked for a miracle. Lo and behold, prayers were answered. Nine months later, a miracle came in the form of a beautiful baby girl that they nicknamed Puddin. Puddin grew up not your normal little girl. She didn't like toys, but she had this crazy love for things with tails, paws, ears, and occasionally a flipper or a fin. And as she got older, her love for animals got bigger which caused her to join this club called 4-H. But during that time, she met this family and she got to go to their farm. And this, this family brought her back several times. And during that time, she met this young man. And this young man and her, over time, developed this relationship. And uh, down the road, they're still together today. And that's her story. We met 10, both long and short years ago, and it took what felt like moments to fall deeply in love with you. So deeply in love that I knew I had found my purpose. I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Those 10 years were full of countless joyous times, but also hardship and change that we had to overcome. But against the odds, we made it through, and our dates finally here. Those 10 years incorporated different chapters of our life that we had to navigate. Some of those times were hard, but we always found a way through together. So many of those times also hold wonderful memories that we were able to create. Austin, you have always been my partner in crime, best friend, and true love. You have always made me feel beautiful on days that I don't, supported on days I doubt myself, and loved when I forget to love myself. Over the past decade, I've had the true honor of watching you grow into the man you are today. Your compassion, honesty, and drive to always improve upon yourself amazes me. I feel we are the epitome of best friends, and I know I can always count on you for a laugh and a smile. I vow to continue to strengthen both the hardship and celebration, to lift you when you are down, and to help bring more joy to the joyful moments. I truly could not be more proud of who you have become today. I look forward to having a front row seat to what great things I had for you and for us. I vow to give, all my, give my all to create more of those lasting memories that we can share for the rest of our lives. One of the reasons I knew this would be forever is how close we have become and how close I felt to you when we met. I knew you as thoroughly as I can know someone and no one else brings me the joy you do. I wish I could go back to see the face of 15 year old me when I showed her a sneak peek into our future. She would have been in awe of you and how, you have, and how we have grown together, but a part of her would not have been a surprise to have made it this far. Some part of me always knew that this was it. You were the one. I vow to continue to strengthen and deepen this bond between us and to always be your person. Another thing I cherish deeply in our relationship is our desire to become better than we are today. You're the inspiration for me to become better than who I am today. I need no motivation other than wanting to give you my all, all that I can and to become someone deserving. Some part of me always knew that this was it. You were the one. So on this day and this day forward, I vow to love, cherish, and support you the way you have always done for me to help you in this journey of life and to love 
yourself to the process. I vow to never stop to strive and to always aspire to be the best person I can be. I vow to respect you as your own person and realize that your interests, desires, and needs are no more than important than mine. I vow to always drag you along on my crazy ideas and adventures. And I vow to be there in your times of need, your shoulder, shoulder to cry on, and to speak when words are needed and to share the silence when they are not. Lastly, I vow to be honest, I vow to always be faithful to our love, and I vow to always love you as deeply as I need. I promise to grow and dream with you and to build this life with you. I promise to love you in good times and in bad. What this has to do with is I wanted to let everybody know that you don't always get a miracle. When you get one, it's very rare. And you, you rarely ever give one away. Now, Austin, we've learned to uh, get to know him and love him as one of our own. He's a fine young man, and he's worthy of our daughter's love. He's also worthy of the miracle that we want to give you. Abigail and Austin.